Wait, they got you working food service? Alright, hello gamers, I'm back. <laughs> And if you're wondering why it's been two weeks and I still haven't released the painted version of Pekorek yet, it's not because I'm incredibly lazy. I mean, I am very lazy, but it's not because of that. Basically, uh, cured polymer clay is still very oily, and um, so I want to get a casted version of that to paint, but <laughs> I tried contacting professional casters, but you know, for some reason, I don't think they want to cast um, a sexy Pekorek, so none of them have replied. <laughs> Anyways, while waiting for all the equipment and materials to cast it to arrive, I've been making this um, overly realistic Eminem Dr. Phil. <laughs> you know, it, it really do be like that sometime. Since this is the first time I'm sculpting the human face in this much fucking detail, uh, I'm gonna make this into a tutorial and talk about it as if I know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Anyways, the first step, as you've been seeing, is just using a reference to measure out face proportions and then carving out the eye sockets. This time I use a pre-cured uh, two-part epoxy to um, create a base for the eyeballs and then I went over it with my uh, with a thin sheet of polymer clay to uh, give me a bit of leeway in terms of smoothing it and such. But um, I liked having a pre-hardened uh, eyeball so that it like it can be worked on top of without completely smushing it. Now, for some reason, I like working in like one area at once and working my way up towards uh, more and more detail until I get tired of it and then I just move on to the next part. The whole time I'm trying to, well, at least trying my hardest to measure out uh, the reference and what I'm currently doing, but it's kind of hard because I can't just you know, hire Dr. Fell to come sit and sit for me to sculpt. <laughs> but uh, I'm just using a 2D image, so... Uh, trying to think of it in 3D terms is quite difficult, but you know, I, I think I made it work kind of well. But yeah, the first things I did was basically the two eyeballs. I probably should have done the nose first because um, it's more central and it, uh, as, as you can, as you'll see later, my eyeballs are way too small and I had to size it up because after putting the nose in, I realized that. So yeah, to start with, just sink in the eye socket, put some eyeballs in, and then um, put eyelids and uh, the eyebrow muscle in so that you have a base to work on and you can start to see the facial structure in 3D. For the nose as well, I try to start off with simple forms first and then slowly working towards uh, the detail you know, one at a time while keeping everything like smooth and uh, blended in so that when it's cured, it's uh, strong enough to, you know, not crack. Also, I made myself this new sculpting tool. It's basically, <laughs> it's just a really long, tiny spoon that uh, I um, sanded out of a brass rod and attached to a pencil. Uh, if you guys are new to sculpting, you should definitely make yourself one of these. Next step, basically, I just you know, kind of just look at the reference image and what part of the <laughs> sculpted model doesn't look like a reference image. I just bulk in. Uh, right now, I'm doing the, the two cheeks. I realized that I didn't sink in the uh, eye sockets far enough, so I just have to bulk it and bring it a bit more forward, so that uh, you know his 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 smile looks a bit more like it's pushing up his cheeks. I'm pretty sure I'm doing everything in the wrong step, but you know, I'm being super inefficient, but I don't know how to sculpt, so I'm just, I'm just like, you know, trying my best, man, leave me alone. So yeah, the rest of this video, well, a lot of it is gonna be me bulking out the shape of his face because I didn't dig in far enough with the eye sockets, so uh, a lot of the sculpting is made additive rather than subtractive. The whole time, I'm basically just working as hard as I can in one area to bring out uh, a lot of detail. But whenever I get tired, I just move on to the next stage. Uh, even if it looks ugly, I just tell myself I just got to do more of it before it starts looking better.
I'll also occasionally just pre-smooth out the model so that I can see better what it will actually look like once it's uh, finished. Because uh, while it's still rough, it can be quite hard to like see what it's gonna end up looking like because it kind of messes with the shadows and lights on your model quite a lot. <laughs> Alright, next step. Did y'all think I would make a video without ass? <laughs> nah, bro. Dr. Phil thick as fuck. I wouldn't disrespect him like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for the ass sculpting, it's pretty normal. Just attach two spheres to whatever you're making and just smooth it out, man. <laughs> simple so I ended up having to go back and carve in like little dimples on top of each cheeks to make it look uh, a bit more interesting from behind. <laughs> right back to the face this time you know, same as before I'm just balking out the eyebrow to uh, make the face look a bit more 3D. Also, yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, comment below. I, I try my best to answer all of them. And, you know, if you have suggestions on what I should make and um, maybe other kind of videos I should make, uh, suggest them. I try my best to read all of it. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to say, man. I'm just sculpting teeth. Just looking at the reference photo and whatever's not there, I put it there. <laughs> I'm happy with uh, all the sculpting. I smooth it down using my clay carving tool and brush over it with 80-90% uh, isopropyl alcohol uh, using a stiff brush to smooth down like the smallest detail and sometimes I have to go back and add in the extra uh, lines here and there but yeah that's that's about it. This time instead of doing you know, one bake, I end up doing two bakes after uh, one for the face and one for the hands because uh, I really didn't want to be touching soft party while I'm uh, sculpting the hands, so I wanted to, you know, set the details in before I sculpt further on top of it. And for the arms, legs, and shoes, I end up using a Tamiya two part putty. Uh, it's just a bit stickier, so uh, it's easier to heap onto uh, material like cork that I use to uh, bulk off the feet. And um, yeah, I mean, it has some disadvantages. It's really hard to smooth. Basically, you kind of just have to do your best and then sandpaper it once it cures. But it also doesn't require any baking, so that's pretty helpful. And yeah, um, once the shoes and shoelaces are done, that's pretty much the model completely sculpted. Uh, I'll be making the hair after painting in the next video, so uh, yeah, that's it. And yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked it, do the, you know, the usual thing. Subscribe, like, uh, share. Is there anything else? Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you!